The six-story building with its oversized roof is certainly unusual looking. It uses 82% less energy than an average commercial building in the city and is also said to be a pleasant place to work. But the designers of Bullet Center didn't just want to simply build a cozy office building that would not run up the electric bill. They wanted the Bullet Center to be a living laboratory, a model office designed to inspire innovative environmental engineering all over the world. And we're trying to prove that in a standard office building with a conventional set of tenants, you can dramatically reduce your environmental footprint. Environmental advocate Dennis Hayes, who was a coordinator of the first Earth Day in 1970, was behind the idea. Buildings consume about three quarters of all electricity, and electricity is the biggest source of greenhouse gas emissions. And if we don't want to broil the planet, then we have to dramatically change the built environment. Built with heavy timber, concrete and steel, 100% of the building's energy is generated on site, using 575 solar panels placed on a rooftop that looks like a giant graduation mortarboard. Instead of air conditioning, the building is cooled by natural ventilation. Windows automatically open when there is a difference between the temperature inside the building and outside. An intricate system of warm water-filled tubes provides heating. And Seattle's constant rain helps, too. All of our water for all purposes, including drinking water and coffee, all the way down to flushing toilets, it all comes from the rain that falls on the roof that we treat here. Features like slow-flushing composting toilets that use foam instead of water may take novice environmentalists aback. But there are architectural features that will take a visitor's breath away, such as a glass-enclosed stairway called irresistible. Super-efficient buildings have to be designed for particular locations. So this is a building that was designed for Seattle. It would not work well in Moscow. It would not work well in Rio de Janeiro. It works perfectly in Seattle. In the past few years, thousands of professionals from all over the world have visited the innovative building to get inspired and to learn. For Natasha Mazgavai in Seattle, Washington, NRI's VOA News.